All right, Shalom Aki. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit, and Shalom to the elect whom the Most have given ears to hear. All right, and it's very important to have ears to hear <coughs> and to pray for proper guidance because you have, well, as you see this guy in the screen, this guy's, uh, I guess his, his group is known as ROI Israelites. All right, as the brother GMS Ancient Wine, I'm gonna put it in the, um, I'm gonna put the link in the, uh, the comment board, you know, but, <laughs> I could not bear to watch this, that video once again. And I'm not talking about, obviously, not the brother's video, but he had played a, uh, what this guy called, uh, essentially idol worshiping. Um, this guy, he held a feast at his, I guess, at his house or whatever on the same day as Thanksgiving, but he called it Yahweh Shai's Day. You know, so he knows the name, they call on the name, this group, but in his feast, you know, which is pretty much it's basically idol worshiping, but you put a try to put an Israelite twist on it. In his feast on Yahweh Shai's day, this nigga gonna eat, uh, you know, serve ham and, and all types of pork. You know, and immediately I thought of the scripture, and what's that? Second Corinthians, Slovakia. So Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? You know? And Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai don't know these people. You know? And, you know, it got me to thinking too how you have, you know, because if you're new in this thing, you know not you know the name of the Lord ain't Jesus. You know that. So you say, well, his name not Jesus. I learned his name is Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. The father's name is Yahweh. So I'm gonna look for who's teaching that. But it's 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 more to it, you know, because you have niggas that um that know the name is not gonna make it. As a matter of fact, in the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, I wanna say seven and twenty one. The scriptures say, now all that saying to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom. You know? So it's about discernment. Does not the scriptures say, try every spirit? Let's grab it. Now, apparently this guy's been around for a while. You know? So a lot of you brothers... Most likely already heard of this dude. Nevertheless, we do these repetitious videos, um, these so-called, um, you know, uh, 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 milk scriptures videos for the new brothers. So this, oh, that's a spirit because I was going to go to First John in a bit anyway. But this is First John four and one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. And, and the scriptures tell us that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. If for the last days, how much more for these times leading up to the last days? When Yahweh Shai said, you know, there's going to be, uh, you know, many false brethren, uh, um, sheep entering in amongst the, you know, uh, wolves entering in amongst the sheep. Um, he said, was that Matthew 24, around, around the time of his return, there will be, um, false messiahs, you know? So it's a lot to look forward to. Well, it's a lot to look out for, rather. So it says, beloved, believe not every spirit. Sheesh. 
but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are going out into the world right let me jump back over to um Right. Actually, that was that was the point I wanted to grab. <clears throat> you know, believe not every spirit. You know, and um, you know that's a attribute of a wise man, one that's cynical. All right, like the scriptures say, judge no man. You know, before thou hearest him speak something to that extent, and that's in the apocrypha. You know, because you have some men that played a part, you know, they, they, they got the uh the garments, you know, the instinct, they got the cadence down packed. You know, but the end will lead it full of sepulchers, like Yahweh Shah said about the Pharisees. You know, they're like white as sepulchers. They look good on the outside, but on the inside is death. You know? And that death carries out through their preaching. And Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah, he's he's going May Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Shalak Rayum, a lot of these guys on camera, you know, to where they say some bullshit and the most high just take them, take them out right on camera. All right? Because, you know, enough is enough. Now, of course, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's movie. Nevertheless, at the end thereof, you're going to know who the Lord is dealing with. You know? You're gonna know who the Lord is dealing with. So that's pretty much it. You know, just something to warn the flock. All right, like I said, I'm gonna put the, the brother's video on and the uh, the comment board, you know, so you brothers could do your responses on it. You know, and please do so. You know, it's, it's appointed unto us. You know, like the scriptures say in Romans 16, it says, mark them. Let me grab that. Brothers gotta be patient with me. I'm over here driving, so. Right, this is Romans 16 and verse 17, where it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. You see, so we're supposed to mark them, which would, which, what, which is what I am doing. And that word "mark," which um goes into the uh, Greek um um skopeo, meaning. Let me see if I can get it two seconds style, cause I'm out of light. To look at, observe, contemplate, to mark. To look, to take heed to thyself. Right? So it says, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. All right? That's Israelite 101, not ye pork. And avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but their own belly. And when you... <coughs> When you watch that brother's video, you know, <clears throat> and you can see for yourself, this guy is about his own belly. You know, talking about, you know, he got uh, uh, Yahweh Shai Sangria in a fucking picture, you know, uh, bigging up the parfait and mac and cheese. Like, come on, bro. That's nigga food. I don't give a fuck about that. You know, it says, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speech, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Barakatham. You know, I hope your brother's having a good day. I am.
you know, and by good words and fair speech, you know, in my, hey, I love you brothers, you know, I'm doing this for you. Deceive the hearts of the simple. So that's something you don't want to be, especially in these times, you know, because we're coming into the time where this devil is getting ready to cut off the internet and you got to know for certain um, who the Lord is. All right. As it is also written, have thou faith, have it to thyself before the most high. Right. But um, I just thought of it. I actually did want to get something else in that first John three. Was it first John? It was around this area. Yeah. First John three and four. First John 3 and 3 And every man that hath his hope in him purifieth himself Even as he is pure Alright So we cleanse ourselves As much as we can Alright From the ways of this world Right And again Israelite 101 teaches us To not defile our temple And pork Alright Is on the top of that list and also the scriptures say what? That wisdom cannot dwell in a malicious soul. Right? So yeah, this thing of ours is spiritual. However, <clears throat> what you do physically affects your spirit. Right? And the Lord is not, hey, we know the Lord not dwelling in them churches, and them churches push pork. So how much less can the Lord dwell in a in a in a demon like this? You know? It says, whosoever committeth sin transgressive also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. All right. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him, in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. All right. Which don't get it twisted. You know, we do go off. Nevertheless. The Lord sees the sincerity of the elect. It's lock it. Got to pay attention over here. These roads is messed up. But it says, Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. All right. And to prove that, um, you can go in Psalms, what's that, 33? Blessed is the man who the Lord imputeth not iniquity. All right. So for the elect, the Lord is not going to, for the elect, the Lord is not going to, um, Look upon their iniquities. All right. But Yahweh Shivan said, What man upon earth? When um, who was it, the rich man? He called Yahweh Shai good. He said, Good man, what must I do to be saved? Yahweh Shai said, There's no man good but the Father. So, yeah, there's no man that physically doesn't sin on this earth. Nevertheless, the elect, their sins are not looked upon. You know, it's overlooked because they believe in Yahweh Shai. Whosoever abideth in him, sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth, have not seen him, neither knoweth him. You know? And, you know, essentially, they are not of the Lord. All right? Hey, Apostle Paul was moaning for the sins that he wished he would not do. You know, how much more, and when you read Romans 7, he was like, you know, he wrote a whole chapter on things that he would do that he wish he would not do. How much more things that you have control over? You know, come on, man. That's not an attribute of the elect. You know, so Lord willing, you, I can edify. Shalom to the elect.